So, where is this axilla or armpit is situated? Here, we can see a space which is present between the upper part of the arm and the side of the chest wall. Right. So, this space is a pyramidal shaped space which is bounded by anterior axillary fold and here you can see the posterior axillary fold. So, this is anterior axillary fold. This is posterior axillary fold. So, these folds are formed by some muscle. So, this anterior axillary fold is formed by this large muscle that is the pectoralis major. The posterior axillary fold is formed by two muscle namely the teres major muscle and the latissimus dorsi muscle. Now, here again we can see this axilla as a truncated, it is a blunt truncated with a four sided pyramid. So, this pyramid presents a truncated apex, base, and four walls namely, the anterior wall opposite to will be the posterior wall, then there will be a medial along the rib cage. We have a medial and lateral walls. Okay. So, now we are going to discuss about the boundaries of each boundaries of this axillary region. Like we start with the apex. So, if we see this axilla, it is placed obliquely. Can you see this oblique disposition of axilla? So, what happens? The apex is directed upwards and medially towards the root of the neck. This is the neck region towards the root of the neck. So, now this apex is truncated as we discussed earlier. This apex is known as cervical axillary canal. It is a passage between the neck that is a cervical region and the axillary region. So, it is merely a passage that is known as cervical axillary canal through which the structure passes from neck region to this axillary region from the axilla it reaches the whole upper limb. Okay, So, it is the apex of the axilla is like a gateway for upper limb through which the main neurovascular bundle enter into the upper limb. So, here we can see again this cervical axillary canal. This is the cervical axillary canal. We can see the uh, transverse section or schematic section. So, here we can see some bones, right? So, this is what bone? This is the clavicle and we can see here the part of scapula and medially we can see the first rib. So, now the space, the space is cervical axillary canal or apex which is bounded in front or anteriorly by the posterior border of clavicle. Behind it is formed by the superior border of scapula, this is scapula. And medially we can see the first rib, so the medial boundary will be the outer border of the first rib. So, this is about the apex of axilla, apex or otherwise known as cervical axillary canal which is bounded in front by the clavicle, behind by the scapula and medially by the first rib. Right. Next, we will see about the base or floor of the axilla. See, this floor or base is very surgically very important because this region is base. So, if we have any swelling in this region, axillary region, the swelling will be approached surgically through this floor only. 
this will be easier approach. So, this floor of the axilla or base of the axilla is very important. So, now what is about this lower floor? The floor is the lower part of the pyramid. So, this is the pyramidal axilla, the lower part is formed by this base. So, this is directed downwards and if you look at this base, it is convex upwards which corresponds to the hollow bounded by anterior and posterior axillary fold, right. Now, this floor is formed from superficial to deep three structure. So, superficial most structure will be skin. If we remove the skin, next layer will be superficial fascia. Next to this superficial fascia, deep to this will be the clavipectoral fascia, axillary fascia. So, this is about the, the base of the axilla.